Dive. Oh, wow, wow, wow. It's here, it's here, it's here. Ah, ah, ah. Ah. Was that Danny's next bank? Anyway, hello guys, welcome. California Mackie here, hope you're doing well, and welcome to finally Dream Daddy. Oh my god, it's. The music is beautiful, holy shiza. Right, dad tip number five, everyone needs to know how to use the powers. What? Um, right. Uh, so, you guys requested this a lot over the voting polls, so at my website. Which I'll link in the iCard and in the description below. Anyway, do it once, do it right. <laughs> I love this song. I can't sing, I'm sorry, I haven't taken lessons. Oh, oh shit, shit, wait. This is good, this is good. Streamer safe mode. Oh! Copyright flaggable material from the game. <laughs> that is so thoughtful. Okay. Thank you. Oh my god. This is the best game already. Fuck it. If I could continue, of course, there's nothing. Uh, wow, this is like the most amazing game I've touched, and it's just in the title screen. <laughs> Coming out on top, it is. Prepare to be doused. This is like your competition. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Laser tip. Shave with the grain. I wish I could grow a beard. Shave with the grain. I f oh god. This is so amazing. Oh. Z. Z. So I heard this game is made and voiced by the Game Grumps. So they Where's the voice? Dad! Oh, don't tell me I have to voice everything again. Game Grumps, where the hell are you? Dad, wake up! Wake up, pretend to be dead five more minutes. Uh... I'm funny. I let my tongue roll out my mouth and stop breathing. Amanda shakes me. Come on, Dad, this hasn't worked on me since I was six. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Amanda. <laughs> this is the end for me. Dad, I swear to God. Amanda, I bequeath to you all my earthly possessions. Spread my ashes over my recliner. Okay, well, your corpse better get in the moving van because it's leaving soon. Ah. <sighs> uh, what? Wait, where's... The you know, I expected reading. Are we gonna have grunts? I finally open my eyes and sit up. I'm lying in the middle of the living room, spooning a moving box. I yawn and stretch. Morning, Manda Panda. <gasps> <laughs> wow, the graphics are great. I'm surprised my computer can run it smoothly. Yikes. Yikes. Dad breath. Go brush your teeth. Nothing can beat reading in print. Well, that's true. If you press the ignition too long, you'll just flood the engine. Um, gas is cheaper in the suburbs. Build that dad! Whoa, whoa, what? Maybe I should have chosen a less the... Okay, now I'm experiencing the lag. No, I want to be like super fit. No, no, I'm not that accurate. I'm more like this body. Or... This one. Is that a crop top? I'm also a little more darker skinned than most people. Although... I have no idea what my skin tone is. I'm kind of fair-ish. Body hair? No. I don't have that much body hair. I have a chin. It's a good chin. I'm the, I don't have a 5 o'clock shadow. I can't, like I said, I can't grow shit. Mm, 
Yeah, that's pretty accurate. What are the other hairs? Well, since I'm already here and I'm already stuck recording this like this, I'm gonna leave it as it is. Oh, I can have different colored eyebrows. That is perfect. What? Oh my god. <laughs> Look at these eyes. Oh, wait. Can I even... I don't think I can even see this character like after, right? These eyes are not doing well for me, I'm sorry. The other dads look so great, how come I have to look like a derpy little... Derpy little crud. Oh. Will I even see my character? Tintin eyes. What's this? No. Everything is so creepy. Squinty, snake eyes. What? Eh, fuck it. Actually, my nose is pretty accurate. Next. Mouth. I look like a fucking douchebag. <laughs> I'm sorry, I really look like a douchebag here. Funny thing, my eyes brows- my eyebrow- eyes brows- eyebrows are like 50-50. When it comes to thickness, so half of it is really luscious and half of it is like fading out. So... This doesn't go with the hair, holy crap. I don't think anything goes with those eyebrows. I don't think anything goes with those eyes. But this is like the most... decent pair of eyes, aside from Tintin. You know what, I might just stick with Tintin, holy shit. Pouty lips. Kitty mouth. Slim mouth. Works. I don't have facial hair. You know, when I when I play The Sims, I spend like a good solid uh, hour or two just making the character. I'm that immersed, <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah, let's go for the Harry Potter glasses and then... No, I don't have piercings. I wish I had piercings. Wait. Fuck it, let's call it a fashion- No, that's not a fashion mode. Fuck. No. Okay. I am such a skinny- oh my god. This is a perfect replica of real life me. Um, but, I want to dress snazzy. Although... Danny clothes, are you fucking with me? Uh... Do I want the sex man clothes? Egg nips. I like cats, but not that kind of cats. Looking good, daddy. Name that dad. Let's go with Mac Orthon. Be that dad. 
managing debt is just part of being an adult. Of course it is. <sighs> Maybe I should start borrowing money just so that I can start earning money. It's okay, it's enough. Stand up for yourself. Don't let anyone disrespect you. I wish I knew how to do that. Did you fall asleep packing? I got most of it done, I think. Searching around the room, it looks like I did a pretty good job. Every box is sealed except for one. Okay, so the game runs smoothly outside of Crate Your Dad. Wait, straggler. Huh? What's in it? Wait, let's save. Oh good. Look into, looking into the box, I see a bunch of old photos in little photo albums. Right. I'm sorry, I can't really do a black girl. Well, I haven't seen these in years. I pull out one of the dusty albums from the top of the pile and we begin looking through ah. it. That's the coolest baby I've ever seen. The only way your father and I could get you to stop crying was to put the sunglasses on you. Ah, I like how inclusive this game is. But whenever we tried to take them off, you'd start crying again. You spent the first two years of your life with sunglasses on. Nice. Halloween when you were maybe four. <laughs> oh my god, that dragon costume. I wish I had more for facial expressions, but eh. You couldn't decide between being a princess or a dragon, so you went with both. Princess dragon. Hmm. Why do I remember crying in that dragon costume? You saw yourself in the mirror and realized you were afraid of dragons. Seeing yourself inside the dragon's mouth was a realization of your greatest fear, I think. Aww. Right? Yep, definitely repress that memory. And this was you in your horse face. Hmm. Dad. I believe you named that plush horse Sir Horsington the Brave. Uh, I don't think that was his. Amanda lunges for the photo, but I quickly snatch it away and hold it above her head with my superior dad arms. Nice try, but this is important blackmail for later down the road. Go ahead and try me. I've seen pictures of you in your ska band. Ouch, kid. Ah, What's a ska band? Ska Munis Manifesto had a chance back in the day. I look off into the distance and reminisce about the Harad horse horn section. Hey, it's Emma P. Ugh. No, Dad, that's Emma R. I didn't meet Emma P until high school. Honey, I promise you wholeheartedly that I will never stop mixing those two up. Aww. Dad, Emma R's been my best friend since I was seven. Give it like a little bit of effort. Alright, Emma P was the one who... Tried to steal people's pets, fired a flaming tennis ball at the police station, pooped her pants during a sleepover. Lighter fluid, tennis ball, tennis racket, right? <laughs> Dad, that was you! Alright, I was a wild child. I was six when you did it. Okay, Amanda, I wasn't aiming for the police station. It just happened that there was a police station in the vicinity of where I wanted to hit the flaming tennis ball. Dad! Yeah, I remember you explaining that to the police. They didn't believe me either. <laughs> anyway, I gotta show this to Emma R. Emma R later. She'll get a kick out of it. The first photography award you ever won. <laughs> yeah, and it got us a $20 gift card to McFridays. Yes. And then you got food poisoning from the cheesy tostada blasts. I think you mean food poisoning. You know, what is he? Aww. Dad. Still can't drive past my Fridays without gagging. <laughs> still proud of still proud of you though. Amanda reaches down deep in the into the box and pulls out one last photo. I decide to break the silence. It's kind of a funny story. We got into a car accident right there in the hospital parking lot. It wasn't anything big, just a fender bender. But of course I was freaking out. And the little old lady who crashed into us was freaking out. And I didn't know what to do. But your father... Oh man. He holds my hand and looks me directly in the eyes. The calmest I've ever seen him. He says... It's okay. It's all gonna be okay. Well, this is... Uh. He was right, you know. I start the picture for longer. Maybe too long. I miss him. 
can't even imagine what it must be like for Amanda. Hmm. She pats me on the back. Ah. Come on, Pops, we gotta finish packing. The moving van won't wait forever. You're right. Oh. Amanda and I pile into the car and take one of the last what uh, take one last look at the old house. So many memories here. Hard to believe your father and I bought this place almost 20 years ago. Mm. Hey, remember when I shattered the front window playing catch? You always had very strong arms. Huh. Hey, remember when I shattered the other front window pretending to be a robot who breaks windows? You were a very imaginative child. Yes! When I broke the back window, we get it. You break stuff. <laughs> and there'll be plenty more stuff to me for me to break in the new place. Memories to make and stuff to break. Hmm. You ready? We sit in silence for a moment. You know, I expected, I expected game grumps, not game grunts. I watch my daughter grow up in this, hou in this house. It will forever hold a place in my heart. But it stings a little bit to leave it behind. <sighs> I'm ready. The moving van begins to pull away and I get the car into position to follow it. I watch our house. Our old house. Disappear in the rearview mirror. So... So what? Mm -hmm. So sell me on our cool new pad. <laughs> I clear my throat and do my best cheesy announcer voice. Nestled in beautiful scenic downtown Maple Bay, our new house features washer and dryer hookups, a two-car garage, multiple places to sleep. Honey, have you ever had dirty clothes? For most of my life, yes. Well, worry about that no longer, as our new place features machinations that will not only clean your clothes, but dry them directly thereafter. Mm. An upper-class luxury, I fear. The concept of clean clothes is no longer in the hands of the fat cats upstairs, sweetie. Anyway, it's also smaller than our last house. <laughs> Cozier. Cozier, one might argue. Good spin. I think it's great. Won't we be closer to a lot of cool stuff that we can walk to, so I don't have to waste gas? And I mean, trying to park downtown is, you know. Amanda, you know you're not gonna... You know you're gonna have to learn how to parallel park at some point, right? Mm -hmm. Not gonna happen, Pops. I think someone needs to do a three-point turn on their attitude. Huh. I don't know how to do that either. Have you met the neighbors yet? Not yet, but the neighborhood seems pretty quiet. Hmm. So you won't have to chase any rowdy teens off your lawn? You are the very teen you mock when you say that. Ah. I'm in my last year of high school. I'm practically dust. Yeah, you're a real... <laughs> don't you dare. Senior. Hmm. Dad, I know where this is going. <laughs> I'm a charming dad. Citizen. Huh. I'm just gonna ignore that. Okay. But I won't forget it. So what's item number one on the new house agenda? Well, first we'll need to forge a path through the solid wall of boxes that's blocking the living room. I still have to install the washer and dryer, we need to go grocery mm. shopping. Pops, clear your jets. You have to promise me that we're gonna take a break and explore the neighborhood. Okay, okay, right. We'll get some work done and then check the area out. We pull up to the new house and step outside. It is pink! The lawn is freshly mown and the for sale sign is still in the yard. And with a swift kick from Amanda, the for sale sign is no more. Nice warm, sweet pea. <laughs> Amanda's adorable. I got a problem with authority! I'm so proud. Man, all that karate chopping tuckered me out. I could really go for a sandwich. Huh. Ice cream sandwich. Sweetie, it's 10 a.m. As much as I would also like to enjoy a delicious and healthy ice cream sando right about now, we got work to do, kiddo. And we need to make it snappy because there are five sealed crates of DVD box sets blocking off the bathroom and I gotta pee real bad. <laughs> She is game, I like her. Well, don't let the entire cast of all 13 seasons of Shark Tank but with actual sharks stand in your way. Let's get to it. Take care of your health. While you're still young. Well, I'm focusing on that. Anyone who tells you that a drink isn't manly has never known heartache. Don't skip the corners. What, in driving? That's a fair assessment, but... Yeah. It's 
Second wild alone, sorry guys. Oh, here it is. I get to work on packing the various boxes around the living room. A couple hours pass and I get some good work done. The washer dryer unit is both washing and drying and we can actually walk through the living room without tripping over the boxes. Wow, look at everything. First visitor already? I walk over to the door and open it. Hello! Uh, oh my god, it's Ken. <laughs> hey Jack, Morrison. Just kidding. <laughs> a handsome, clean-cut man stands at my door, brandishing a plate of cookies. <sighs> my two weaknesses. A fuckboy with cookies. <laughs> Hello? My name is Elder John. Whoa! Joseph. <laughs> I'm sorry, what was that? Did you say whoa? Oh, where are my manners? My name is Joseph. I'm your next door neighbor. That's a jacket, not an ascot, right? Okay. Uh, yeah, hi, I'm Mac. What's... That's what my name is. Wow. That's a sultry voice. Holy crap. I saw the moving van and thought I'd bring over some cookies. My daughter, Christy, wanted me to let you know she baked them herself. Joseph leans in and whispers. Oh. But between you and me, she just sprinkled in the chocolate chips. Ah. We put share lap. Kids, right? Oh my god, he's so white. Yeah. Wow, cookies! Huh? So nice to meet you. Joseph answered the plate of cookies with a smile. Ah. Ah. Well, thanks for the cookies. Lords of Arabia. Hmm. Amanda, come. And she's gone. That's my daughter. Her name's Amanda. She's a charmer. Daughters are tough. Sons are also tough. Oh. Children in general are just... Tough. You hear that? I mean, there'd have to be something wrong with you to try raise more than two. Ooh, uh... I have four kids. What have you done? <laughs> ah, I mean... <laughs> uh, don't worry, you didn't mean to be rude. Oh no, this is the first neighbor I've met and my social life is already in a tailspin. I wonder if it's too late to move again. Uh, yeah, mm. okay. Is the missus around? Mister, actually. And uh... No, not anymore. Uh... He died. Uh. Ah. Yeah. Uh, I'm sorry for your loss. No, no, it's alright. This is like the most awkward greeting I've seen read. We stand there quietly for a moment, acutely aware of how awkward we both made things. I'm sorry, can you close the door real quick? I look at Joseph quizzically but comply. After a second, I hear a knock on the door. Opening it, I see Joseph standing here with a huge smile. Oh. <laughs> Hey, I'm your new neighbor, Joseph. I promise to not talk about your dead spouse this time. I'm throwing a barbecue for the cul-de-sac. And I'd love for you to come by and meet the rest of the neighbors in our community. What do you say, pal? Mm. That sounds great. My daughter Amanda and I would love to stop by. Also, four kids is a perfectly normal... Ah, <laughs> uh, aren't you a charmer? You delicious little blonde fuckboy, what the fuck are you doing here? We shake hands to seal Hi. the deal. Well, neighbor, I'll see you at 3 p.m. Sharp on Sunday. Saturday. Sure thing, neighbor. He starts walking away, but stops to think for a second and turns around. Uh, uh. Hey, in all seriousness, raising a kid on your own can't be easy. If you ever need to, talk about stuff. I'm the youth minister at the church down the street. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't know. I wouldn't really consider myself a youth. Nice. You look pretty young to me, but suit yourself. That fucking wink. <laughs> and he's gone. He seemed nice. She walks back into the living room, crumbs on her face, and cookie in hand. That was the smoothest recovery I've ever seen. I should be taking notes. It is. Oh my god, that was smooth. Yeah. See? You're already fitting in great. Where'd those cookies go? Aww. They're gone. I'm sorry. Yes. If it makes you feel any better, they weren't very good. So we eat all of them anyway? Huh. <laughs> Finger guns. I guess that makes it break time. Any ideas? I'm feeling a little sluggish and coffee seems like the more responsible option. Hold on guys, let me take a quick break. Hey guys and welcome back to Dream Daddy. Sorry about the... It's been a long day. I just finished up today's OJT which lasted until midnight. Passed it actually, so... God, I love this song. <laughs> I'm gonna get a copy of this song just so I can... Play it then loop. Sorry guys, I'm really tired, but I just want to finish this one episode just so that I can go to sleep. I'm really tired. I'm sorry. Uh, 
Right. I'm g I'm proud of you. Anyway, yeah, I don't know what the hell happened. I, yeah, I just met the Ken Ken dad, and then we go to the coffee shop. We walk down the street to the coffee spoon, a cute little place on the corner. Man, this is an, man, this is in such convenient walking distance from our place. I mean, I guess. What's wrong? Why would I go somewhere else and drink coffee on a couch when I could just drink better coffee at home on my couch and not have to make awkward eye contact with other people? At least when I'm home, some random guy isn't gonna come up and sit in on the recliner next to me and I won't feel like a little weird about it because technically he's not sitting at my table but he is very much within my personal zone. Dad. And what's the etiquette when you have a dirty mug? Is there a bin? Do you go set it up in the, on the counter because you don't know where else to put it? Or do you leave it there and feel your face flush hot with shame as you consider the possibility that there is in fact a bin somewhere just out of sight and now you're that jerk who left their mug? Dad, are you just afraid to meet new people? Yes, Amanda. We walk inside. Ah! Oh, hi! Okay. Welcome to the coffee spoon. Guys, how's it going? <sighs> I feel rejuvenated all of a sudden. Hello. How are you, Matt? What's with the name? Oh, it's uh it's kind of dumb. <laughs> oh yeah. Uh, seriously, this is Game Grunts, not Game Grumps. It gets mentioned in this poem I like, and I thought it was a good idea at the time, and I suppose now it's still a good idea because like the business is still running. But people ask me that question all the time and I give them the same answer every time and now I'm standing here rambling and I'm sure we're all getting more and more uncomfortable the more I keep talking but man we're in it now and I can't stop. <gasps> <laughs> that was a mouthful. All the dads are awkward it's so cute. <laughs> so what'll it be? I scan the chalkboard menu and I'm immediately overwhelmed. I have a... Godspeed you, Black Coffee, Ice Tegan, and Sarah. Chai Antward. I think... You're a coffee guy. Wait, wait, wait. There's this thing on Twitter. I forgot what Twitter says, but anyway. Um, can I save? Saving. Oh, thank God, I can save in the middle of choices. 10 out of 10, best game ever. A class? <laughs> Why <are> there's hearts? <laughs> A classic. I don't get it. Oh, it's a pun. Godspeed you, Black Emperor is a really amazing and influential progressive rock band known for their sweeping soundscapes and... I'm doing the thing again. Oh my god, he's fucking adorable. Give me you! <laughs> and for you? I'll have a macchiato de Marco, please. Coming right up. Do you want that in small, medium, or biggie smalls? <gasps> There's a song called Biggie Smalls, <laughs> sorry, it's just, it's probably a black thing. Anyway, there's this song of, called Biggie Smalls by Cupcake, the rapper. She's really good, she's really explicit too, so, but some of her songs are really deep, and it's awesome. Seriously, look up, look up Cupcake, that's Cupcake with a double K. Uh, medium. Wait, is Biggie Smalls big or small? Uh... I should change that, shouldn't I? Matt sets up to make our drinks, and Amanda and I take a seat on one of the couches. What's his deal? Let the man make his puns. They're cooler bands than you listen to anyway. Hey! Hey! Scott was cool once. <laughs> this couch is totally pre totally comfy. Maybe not comfier than our couch, but it's alright. Good lumbar support. You sink right into it. Okay, it's comfier than our couch. Amanda nudges me. This place is right next to our house and that guy seems not only cool but also just as uncomfortable with talking to other people as you are. <laughs> you should totally become friends with him. Amanda, I like how you ship me with all the dads. <laughs> Give me all the dads. <laughs> I don't know. Come on, what do we say about meeting new people? I can't meet new people if I always stay inside and also don't go outside and also don't talk to people. See, we're making progress. Matt sets our drinks down at our table and immediately burned the roof of my mouth. Good one. Hi, we're new in the neighborhood. 
I'm Amanda, and this is my dad, Mac. All right, all. Please do meet you both. You ought to come by when my daughter's hanging around the shop. Does everybody have daughters? You two might get along. Yeah, I'm sure we'll maybe come in from time to time. Amanda kicks my leg from under the table. I'm sure we'll be in here a lot. You know what? Let me get you, get your guys' opinion on something. Matt goes into the back and comes out with a fresh plate of something that smells amazing. I'm working on a new banana bread recipe and I need help coming up with a name for it. Well, I think we're gonna have to taste test it first so we can, uh, get the full flavor profile of, you know, and really appreciate the flavor sensations of... Amanda nods vigorously. She knows this game. Yeah, we need to give that nana bread a taste if you want us doing free creative labor. I think that would be co consumer it with, uh... I've taught her well. We have trained for this day. <laughs> I was just gonna give you guys free banana bread anyway. Right, yes, that. Matt serves us each a piece. Amanda and I happily chow down. This is amazing! Thanks, the secret ingredient is bananas. So, any ideas? I'm stumped. Well, I think I might be the only one to give you that bad... That band puns, but I'll give it a shot. I need to save this. How many saves can I ca keep? Banana bread Kennedy's, Grateful Banana Bread, Right Said, Banana Bread. Like Right Said Fred. But now it's about banana bread. I think the youngsters would like it. So I'm not kidding. <laughs> that actually has a nice ring to it. Really? Yeah. Rat said banana bread. Strong decisions. That's odd, baby. Ooh, he called me baby. Oh my fucking god, that smile. Date me. I want to say baby because I thought it would sound cool, but once I said it, I realized that it just doesn't sound good coming out of my mouth, and maybe I should just leave saying baby to the professionals. Oh no, you can call me baby anytime you want. Enjoy your coffee. Thanks, baby. <gasps> See, it sounds so good when you say it. Her face is like, ah! Across the way, a man catches my eye. He sits by himself, brooding over a cup of coffee. Our eyes meet just for a moment. I hastily look away, hoping you didn't catch me staring. Who is that? Finish up our drinks and head out. Thanks for stopping in. Take care. Okay, now what, that we're full of caffeine, where to? Um, he's still there. Time to soak up all that vitamin D. Make our bones nice and strong. Yeah, our skeletons are gonna get so strong they're gonna hop right out of our bodies and crush cars with their bony fingers. Amanda, I already have an irrational fear that my skeleton would one day fe escape this flesh sack and run amok. Please don't encourage it. Right, sorry. Uh, to the park. Maybe I should have ta stuck around. I have no fucking clue what happened. You can save bookmarks directly to your desktop. When lifting weights, use proper form and a full range of motion. Anyone who tells you... Amanda and I begin a stroll through the neighborhood. I can't believe how beautiful it is outside. Kids are playing in the streets, the flowers are in bloom, and the faint smell of a nearby barbecue drips through the air. This place is nice. Too nice. I don't trust it. Good eye, honey. You can never be too careful. See that baby in that stroll over there? Government operative. We're on to you, baby. <laughs> <laughs> we walk for a while and eventually end up at a small park. Toddlers chase each other through the playground and dogs of all shapes and sizes romp through the grass. It's pretty crowded, but Amanda spots a nice empty bench. We start to make our way over to it when... Heads up! Did that hit me? Ow! A frisbee suddenly hits me in the face. Woof! A corgi with a neat plaid handkerchief. <gasps> oh, look at you! Around its neck bounce up to me, wagging its tail. Ah! Uh. Huh? He runs around in a circle and nudges my leg with his nose. Oh god, this is the cutest dog. Woof, woof. Marf! <laughs> my god, this dog knows no more than he lets on. He definitely could have caught that. A guy in a- Oh, hello! Is this the crew? 
Craig guy? A guy in a Hawaiian shirt jogs over to us and takes the frisbee from me. You know, frisbees are traditionally caught with your hands, not your face. Well, you're not supposed to trade. Well, traditionally, you're not. You're traditionally not supposed to aim for people's heads. It's a new technique. I'll catch it with my teeth next time. You caught me off guard on this round. Not again. Not ever again. Were those eggplants? Are you keen, mate? Are you horny? I'm just messing with you. I'm Brian. I'm Mac, and this is my daughter, Amanda. I look over at Amanda only to find her sitting on the ground, rubbing the dog's tummy. Hi. The dog's cool. Ah, old Maxwell sure loves the attention. It's great to see another father and daughter out there on such a sunny day. Does everybody have daughters? Where's yours? He gestures over to a grass knoll where a young girl sits on a checkered blanket. She's reading a book bigger than her head. She puts it down and heads over to us. This is Daisy. She's reading the brothers Kar Karamazov. Karamazov. Her teacher tells me that she has the reading comprehension skills of high schooler. How old is she? Ten. She's a precocious little youngster. Whoa. My natural dad instincts kicks in. I must brag about my child's accomplishments. Oh, this is... Oh no, it's happening. Go on, Daisy. Tell him about yourself. Oh my god. Um, I... That's my girl. Amanda, get in there. <laughs> this is great. Okay, okay. Brian's 8080. Amanda's your only daughter. Amanda here just recently won the local photography award. Wow, congratulations. Brian loses 10 HP. Daisy actually just won a statewide poetry contest. What? You unfurl your wallet to reveal a tiny copy of a drawing of a cornucopia Amanda did in the first grade. Cute. It isn't very impressive, but Amanda generally appreciates you holding on to it. I regained 20 HP. She started a weekly chess cl club at her elementary school computer cl lab. She's the president too, of course. Dang, my high school doesn't have a chess club or a computer lab. Last week, unprompted, Amanda helped an old woman with her grocery bags. Daisy sold enough candy this year to get the top prize. I can know. We're taking it out next weekend. How is that even possible? Amanda could barely get one of those sticky hand things. Uh, Amanda's in all honors classes this semester. Oh really? I'm actually talking to Daisy teachers about having her skip a grade. You pull a wrinkled copy of Amanda's last grade card. Dad? Brian loses 25 HP. You really carry that around everywhere? <laughs> Maybe it's kind of weird. You lose 5 HP. Did I mention Daisy said her first word at 10 months? Daddy. Amanda's was potty. Still cute, but maybe this isn't the time to bring it up. A few months back, Amanda started volunteering at the homeless shelter in our old neighborhood. You two seem to have such a good relationship. It warms my heart. Ah, why do you have to be such a good loser? You guys are new to the neighborhood? <laughs> Her face is like, I can't believe you actually did that, Dad. We just moved in. Do you live around here? Yeah, we live in that cul-de-sac down next to the coffee shop. What a coincidence, that's where we live too! Small world. Yeah, Daisy and I are in that little ranch-style house on the corner. I know that house. It's just like ours, but slightly bigger and better landscape. Does this guy have to outdo me at everything? What a lovely place. Oh my god, the competition. Well, I don't want to take up any more of your time. Really nice meeting you guys. You'll have to stop by at some point. Yeah, definitely. Bye. Brian and Daisy walk further into the park with Max while happily trotting along in tow. 
do you get a feeling that he was trying to one-up us? Trying and succeeding. I can't believe that kid's only 10. What was I even doing at her age? Uh, I believe we had a bit of a thing for horses. Shame that didn't pan out. Could have majored in comparative horse studies. <laughs> ah, it's not too late to minor in horse creative writing. Too close to the truth, Dad. Let us never again speak of the fantastic adventures of Sir Horsington the Brave, an epic in seven parts by Amanda Orton. We laugh off the horse epic and walk around the park a bit more, enjoying the day. All the sunlight is making me really tired. I don't think I got enough sleep last night. You slept for 14 hours. Exactly. Don't worry, I bought my game from Steam. It's okay if you don't come in first, just make sure you have health insurance. This is turning out to be a really, really good game. It's a shame I'm gonna have to wrap up soon. Mm. As we're walking home, I hear heavy footsteps come up behind us. Mac, bro! I turn around and am greeted by a familiar face jogging up to us. Oh, it's him. Craig? Bro. Bro. Holy. Wow, I haven't seen Craig in forever. It's been too long, dude. Oh my god, he's such a... <laughs> no, not douchebag. Fuckboy. The hair. The ah, muscles. Ah! Yeah, wow, you look great. <laughs> yeah, I cleaned up my act. Cleaned up his act? Are you kidding me? He's ripped. Amanda, this is my friend Craig. We went to college together. We were roommates for a while, too. Amanda, dude, you probably don't remember me, but you're so big now. Hello, and hello, cute baby. Aw, oh, thank you. The last time I saw you, I think we were about her size. You were about her size. This is River. Say hi, River. Uh. Are you babysitting? Nah, dude, River's my kid. Man, it has been a long time. Feels like one minute we're rolling up to exams with bad hangovers and the next we're both fathers. Where you been, man? I was working on out in California and just relocated the business back to Maple Bay. No kidding! Amanda and I just moved to this side of town. How's Ashley doing? I mean Ashley. Ashley's her name. She actually still goes by Smashley and uh, we got divorced last year. Ah, dude, I'm so sorry. It's old news. We take turns taking care of River and the twins. It's all copacetic. Twins? You have three kids? Ain't life something, bro. Right? Keg stand Craig is a father of three. Keg stand for Craig. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's my old college nick. Everybody has such a good voice. What the hell? Even if it's just grunts, they're sexy grunts. Danny sex bang sexy grunts. Uh, yeah, it was my old college nickname. He got it because he did a lot of keg stands. It's that thing where you do a handstand on a keg and then drink from the keg. Right. He was very good at it. Ah, oh, bro, I hate to be that guy, but I'm in the middle of my daily jog and I really gotta keep up my heart rate. Brought River along for, you know, resistance training. You jog daily? I jog yearly. On January 1st, when I promised myself that I'm gonna jog daily for the rest of the year but give up after 30 minutes and just walk home. Well, it's never too late to get back into it, dude. You should join me sometime. <laughs> I don't know. Come on, it'd be fun. We could grab breakfast afterwards. Catch up. We could do a bro brunch like the good old days. Alright, sure. Sounds great. Great, let's get that going soon. I better get moving. Good to see you guys. Craig gives a little wave, puts his earbuds back in, and jogs off. I can't believe Craig is ripped and has kids. I'm reeling. Why's that? The Craig I knew is not fit to be responsible for any living thing, including and especially himself. One time I watched him drink an entire jar of marinara sauce for dinner. Amanda, he opened up a new jar of marinara sauce and then he drank it like it was a thing that normal people do. It was unholy. And then I asked him what the hell he was doing and he said, and I quote, It's basically a smoothie, bro. I mean, technically, he's not wrong. He jogs! He was jogging! He's like a totally different person. Anyway, we better get home. I'll have plenty of time to reflect on how old I feel later. If you're parking uphill, be sure to turn your tires towards the streets. 
Amanda and I flop down on the couch. Amanda has to shove some empty boxes out the way before she can sit. Too bad we're gonna be putting stuff, my stuff right back into these boxes in a few months. No, don't say that. Ah, oh, Dad, it's gonna be okay. I'll be fine. I know, I know. It's just... You're my little girl. It's gonna be weird not having you around. I'll come visit, and I'll text you every day, and I'll take lots of pictures. I mean, obviously, I'm a photography major. You promise? Of course. Are you gonna be okay by your lonesome? Oh, come on. I'll be fine. I'll get a dog or something. A dog? Forget art school. I'll stay for the dog. Is that what it's gonna take? Medium-sized dog. Handkerchief around the neck. I get to name it. That's what it'll cost for me to give up my... Give up on my dreams. I'm a woman of simple wants and needs. Well, a dog's a lot cheaper than college. <laughs> Suddenly, a pile of envelopes slides through the mail slot. Speaking of college, she darts over to the envelopes and shovels through them. She pulls one out and throws the rest back onto the floor. This is from McGowan College of Art and Design. Open it. But I'm scared. It's just an envelope. Yeah, it's just like my entire future. Not a big deal. She takes a deep breath and rips the letter open with her teeth. We have a letter opener, but okay. I hold my breath while Amanda's eyes start back and forth, scanning the letter. What does it say? Uh, the admission committee has reviewed your application, blah blah blah. Um, we... Her face drops. Regret to inform you that we are unable to offer your admission to McGowan College of Art and Design. Ah, sweetie. It's okay, I kind of saw it coming. I knew I shouldn't have put that experimental stuff in my portfolio. Their admissions officer told me they just want to see portraits or whatever. I plucked a man. Aww. Amanda! You're an amazing photographer. I know how much work you put into your portfolio. Some other school is gonna want to snatch you up for sure. Yeah, I know. It's fine. Are you actually fine or are you just saying that? I'm fine, really. Her face says the opposite, but I probably shouldn't push on this. Oh, and before I forget, Emma R and Emma P are sleeping over tonight. So? You need me out of the way because I'm painfully uncool? I would choose more delicate phrasing, but... Yes. <laughs> you little jerk, I like you. <laughs> well, I'll have you know that I'll conveniently already have plans for tonight, so you'll have the new place to yourself. Yeah, what are your plans? Quick, think of plans. <laughs> I have no idea. But we'll leave the episode here. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I'm really tired. I'm gonna hold it off here. But holy crap. I got an energy boost. But I'm gonna need to sleep right now. So yeah. Thank you guys so much. Make sure to leave a like. Subscribe. And I'll see you next time. Also. If you want to see more videos. Support me on Coffee. It really helps me keep the channel running. And if not. Just visit my website. Check out the few videos that I have a few videos and articles I have. I'm gonna post every week as much as possible. <laughs> or, you know, more than once a week. So, yeah. Thank you guys so much again, and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.